basically a year, but it's fine because I'm here now. Today, I'm doing a updated collection draw, 2019 edition. It's been a while, my collection has grown drastically. If you have any other video ideas, comment them down below, comment them on my Instagram, and I'll probably do them because I have no ideas, like zero. So, let's get started. <laughs> I know you say you know me, know me well But these days I don't even know myself No, I always thought I'd So first off we have uh, Smart Chick Alina I would say the name I've given him but I can't remember it Oh my god uh, What is that? Oh my god uh, So that is still there But I'm just going to try and avoid it and just deal with it being there but anyway let's continue so that so here we have Smudge Alina he's actually really nice uh, he's my first in the mold because he's quite recent and I actually quite like it so that's him this is his Peter Stone name is Bingo something? Bingo two thoroughbred or something to that? Like that? Something? I don't think. He's a gorgeous glossy dapple grey Appaloosa on the Peterson thoroughbred mould. I really like him. He was my first on the mould and he's really nice. Next we have Flying Finish, or oh, that's his Peterson name. It's a bay on the Peterson thoroughbred mould. He is very cute got him for Christmas this year. This guy is called Red Devil. Also sorry if the camera's shaking, I'm like holding it up really high. That's Red Devil, he is a like chestnutty pinto on the Peter Stone Thoroughbred mold. That's my like small little conga of them. Next we have Snowman. He is actually really nice and has like really nice flea bites. And I didn't realise how much I love this mould until I got him and now I need more. I really want um, Bo, I think is the new one, the Dapple Grow Pinto. I really like the um, braided version of him. But I would also do the long version. This is just a breed I have for him because I am kind of planning on showing him. But I'm still not sure because I have too many warm bloods. This is Uncalled For. I love her she was a grail of mine for ages and then she came up for sale and i had to buy her she i think i've only ever seen her for sale once and that was her and i just love her gorgeous gorgeous horse love the sharpness mold this is the best of british jumping connemara i like her her him i don't really know i like him but I'm still not sure. I really like like dapples and stuff, but then I feel like kind of tempted to sell him. Not sure though. Mm, probably keep him because I like the mold. Uh, next we have Enchanted Forest. Really came well. I brought him with that stand because I was planning on putting him in this jump that I'd already made for him. Then he went in it because he didn't have a stand. And I love this horse. Sorry about that. This is, this jump I also made with my dad for a show. It will be shown again at Chrome Alive. Gorgeous horse though. I love his colouring. I need more. And if we move down a shelf, we have like all my copper foxes. So this is Glossy Trifle, who I brought after my original trifle chipped. And I had to get him changed for another one through the company. Really like her. She is, I love this mould. I really want Henrietta love her then we have these two little guys down here so that's a little collector shetland and this little guy who i got for free when i bought smart chickalina really cute next we have bertie who i got as a second on my first on my first show which was a copper fox show i love copper foxes so much he's actually really cute shows quite well really nice horse next we have 
my two issues. This is Cadbury. He was the first Comforce I ever bought straight from the company. And I love his shading. And when I, I got him when I a couple years ago and I was quite new to collecting like traditionals and more expensive horses. And I used him as a performance horse and I regret it now because he has like marks like where all the tack has been and I so regret it because I reckon he would show really well without them. But I just like mm, I really am really annoyed at myself. Next we have Glossy Jasper. He is a really nice colour on this mould. I got him in replace of my trifle who chipped. So he is a second because my trifle was a second. So he is a second. But I still love him. Next we have Totalas. Now he was a big grail for a long time when I first got into collecting. And I saw him for sale. He was fairly cheap. So I bought him and I still love him. He's just beautiful. Oh, I love this mold so much. And then after I got him, had to get more. So uh, this guy, who is a custom by Deb Brown, gorgeous Palomino, he came up for sale. I actually traded for him. I traded a body Toby, or I think body Cold Fox Toby, for him, and I love him so much. Can't find a reference for any horse having like a mark here on their legs though. So I don't know if it stops him from placing or if it's some of the scratches he has, which I'm getting fixed soon. But I love him so much. <laughs> My first custom by Deb Brown, so love him. Next we have my most recent horse in my collection, which is the one of the new 2019 Briars, Catch Me. And I almost left him behind at the shop because I didn't have enough money and I wanted to save. But my mum gave me the rest of the money and I do not regret it one bit. He's just so gorgeous. I love dapple greys on this mould. They are amazing. And next, we have my first ever special one. He is one of the Bollywood surprises from 2017. And I bought him as a performance horse. He was used as a performance horse, so he has all the marks that I did try and fix, but I am not great at them. And I decided I would be good at them, and I wasn't, so that happened. And now he can't be shown. Well, I could show him, but he wouldn't place with that massive thing on his side. But he is really cute, it's just a shelf piece. And then we have Estressa Dream, who I got for £30. And I actually think that's quite a good price for her because I've seen her go for up to 100 But she's really cute. Doesn't place as an Arabian. Doesn't place as anything because of the weird leg that everybody knows about by now. She's just cute though. And I still show her anyway. Just in case, you never know, Judge might like her. Then we have Glossy, Gigi Valentine and Heartbreaker. This is Heartbreaker, he's really cute. I love him so much. I love this set. I love them so much more in Glossy. I don't own them in matte, but I've seen them in matte and I don't really like it in matte to be honest. But I do like them in Glossy, the color just like really pops on them. And she's so cute. Next we have this boy who was my first ever Peter Stone. He's an Ish, Dapple Bay. I traded another Copper Fox for him, like a Copper Fox body. This sounds like really bright, can hardly see him. There he is, he's really cute, love him. Next we have Zenyatta, who I bought for 10 quid. And she has so much detail, detail for the price I paid for her. She's just gorgeous, I love her. She places like all the time as well, which is weird for the price I paid for her. So next we go on to all my drafters. This is the Briar Gypsy Vanna, who is very cute. I've never shown him before, but I'm hoping to at my next live show. And he has quite nice shading, so I'm hoping he'll place. Next we have Briar Jake. He is just... I don't really like this model just because it's like so big. I was, I'm currently got him up for sale, but I don't know if I'll actually end up selling him because I do like his colouring and 
he sometimes pieces and he's just pretty nice. Next we have these two. I don't even remember their names, like Gonzo or something. The foal, but they're cute. I really like them. She came with a massive mark, like a massive boxer. I'm on her side. I've managed to fix it, luckily, because she is really pretty. And I really want more in this mold. And the foal's just really cute. Next, we have these these couple. So this is a uh, stable mate. Appaloosa Arab that I got for free somewhere and this is just a really cute who I probably paid very little for but very cute and then we have this big guy who was one of my first traditionals and I really love this mod I want more on it and next we have this guy who is a very recent addition to the collection he's just gorgeous and I've fallen in love with those fellows now and I really want more. And then we have Pippin, who I traded like some steam mates for or something. She's just really cute. Quite she's much smaller than I thought she was. I thought she would be like a bit bigger than that, but she's tiny. But I'm glad I got her. And then we have my Smarty Jones Conga. And we have Leave It in Grey who's a terrible custom by me, who I will be getting painted soon when I can find the right artist. And then we have the Santiago Polo Pony. And I, I really like the polo variation of this mold. It's really cute. And we have Windhawker, who is probably my favorite on this mold. I am a sucker for pintos. And then we have this black custom, this glossy black custom who is much nicer in real life. You can't really get his like nice colour on camera. He doesn't have any shading or anything. He's basically just pure black. But I got him for quite a reasonable price and I probably might get him painted in the future one day. And then we have Phantasma, who I wanted for ages and finally one came up for sale in the UK so I bought him and I do not regret it one bit. He is gorgeous. Next we have a custom by Capering Creations on Instagram and I love this boy so much. He is gorgeous. I definitely recommend her customs if you can ever get one. I love them. And then we have Smarty Jones who was probably one of my first on this mold. Not the first but he's very nice. So next we have Franco and Secretariat and I'll do them together because at Hoy's 2017, it must have been, I got Secretariat as my first ever traditional. And then on the same day, I found Franco for £10. And I knew I had to get him. And after that, I just fell in love with the mould. And now I have 10. So, mm, <laughs> it is my biggest conga. All of these guys. And it, I only have 9 at the moment. Because here... I'm getting a custom done and I think she's almost finished on it but just waiting for him to arrive, get finished, arrive, hoping to show him. Don't know if he'll be done in time, hopefully he will. So we have these four stable mates, these four, and they are like the core four. So I've called them Gucci, Louis Vuitton, uh, Balenciaga. And I forget the last one's name. I think I've, I've literally forgotten his name. It's some um, like designer brand. Let's just call him Gucci 2.0 because I don't remember his name. Then we have these three little slight Shetland Falls. I love their Shetland Falls. I have like these three but I love them and I want more if they ever do them then I have this little cute guy he's like the classic Dartmoor foal he was my first ever briar with his mum but I sold his mum and I kept him because he's too cute to sell and I can't sell him ever then we have this guy I got him for like really cheap because they were like on sale and then I got this girl and him 
and I love them. And then I got this little girl. She is the first uh, unicorn stain mate I have. I was feeling for an Alborozo, but I got her instead. And I'm kind of okay with it because she is still pretty cute, but she'll probably be for sale after I've shown her. If she places, depends on her price. Then I'll just give you a quick overview of all my Skype choices because I can't really be bothered to go through all of them. I've sold a lot of them, this is like the remainder. So that is the end of my collection tour 2019. I have like a couple other like horses scattered about like this little guy custom I'm working on right now. You can't really see him because of the lighting. It's a bit terrible but he's looking pretty cute. And that's kind of it. That bug still hasn't gone. It's like evil. I don't know, it's like a moth or something. I'm really scared. But if you have any, as I said before, any video suggestions, leave them below. Leave them on Instagram. I'll do them. I should get a video out every two weeks, hopefully. Maybe not because I'm unorganised. But that's basically it. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.